All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is about what's happening in Iran. Um, I'm not sure how many of you is following the news, and look like things is getting more exciting. Uh, uh, so today we, we will speak about what's really happening, and based in my information and my experience with Islamic countries, what is going to be next? Um, you know, all those uh, countries, any country run by Islamic government, it doesn't matter really if it is in the heart of the Middle East or it is in Pakistan or, you know, those those governments, they always try to survive based in certain uh, ideas, not in certain, uh, you know, let's say, uh, facts. As an example, we would take today the government of Iran. If we go right now and we search for the news in YouTube, we will find that there is actually there's a live broadcast right now for people burning cars, burning dumpsters. People are so angry. Uh, things is going crazy, and many people get killed in Iran. Now, this revolution is not really a revolution. Uh, uh, let us say uh, uh, something is organized. Or something is planned for it is something happened because people they are so desperate and they cannot take it no more you see all over the Middle East you can be a dictator and you can do whatever you wish as long the belly is full you can control the crowd you can control millions by saying death to America and death to Israel because you need to give them a target uh, which is a fake target you know to make to keep them busy and this is the whole idea of Islam. It's just to keep you busy with stupid things and create enemies that don't exist. And by creating those enemies, we can keep the people from questioning us about things we are doing. Like, where is the money is going? Where is the oil is going? <clears throat> where is the treasure of Iran is gone? Uh, this is a country used to be wealthy. Why people are hungry? Why people are selling their, their livers? You can go and watch documentary and you see uh, people, they are selling their children, people selling their livers. Uh, they are doing muta marriage, which is prostitution, but it's halal, uh, which means lawful in Islam, uh, especially for the Shia. Uh, things is messed up. Everything in this country for sale because the, the according to the government, that the unemployment rate is thirty percent. Now, when a government says <laughs> the unemployment rate is thirty percent, that's mean it is maybe <laughs> three hundred percent. You know, you know how it is there. When they say uh, only 12 people get killed, that's mean maybe uh, 1,200 people get killed. If you remember, not long time ago, I made a video uh, about what happened in in the Hajj. And the Saudi government, they said uh, there is uh, 50 uh, people get killed. And then they said uh, 250. And then I made the video and I said, as long as the Saudi they are saying 500, that's mean there's 5,000 or more, or maybe, you know, or 2,500 more. And later we found that the number according to the Saudi changed to be 6,000. So, what's happening for sure is big. And the first question I ask myself is, why the Iranian government did not cut off the internet? Why until now they did not stop the internet? Does, that, that does not make sense. Because, you know, for this regime, uh, they, they practice what is the taboo system, which nobody, nothing can leak, we know we are perfect state, etc. So why until now, they did not cut the internet? Anyone knows? Anyone can give me a reason? <clears throat> why the Iranian dictator, Islamic fascist government, did not cut the internet until now? As you see, they are broadcasting live from Iran, right? live coverage for this revolution industries. So what is the reason? I will tell you what is the plan. The plan is they will keep the internet life because they want to show you that this is not a peaceful revolution. And I believe that the Iranian government already they released many of the Sunni Muslim terrorists and they will arm them so they will start using weapon. And the second you make the crowd use weapon, 
then the government will have the right to use weapon too and then they will sl start slaughtering and destroy this revolution this is exactly what the Assad regime by the help of the Iranian did in Syria in the beginning there was nobody using arms then the Assad regime release all the terrorists from his jail and they gave them arms you know the, 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 the army was selling them arm so they can use arms against the army and that will make the army you know using arms against them is lawful so the plan is very simple they are going to make this peaceful movement Look as it is satanic and it is sponsored by America, by Israel, by the devil, by the Christians, by the Jews, by the Hindus, by, by, by. And then they will be able to slaughter whoever going against them. Because then they will say, see, this is not against the government. This is a movement coming from abroad. This is, a, the, this is the support of a Trump. Uh, this is a, the movement that is sponsored by Netanyahu. So they have to give themselves a legitimate reason. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, to 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 kill the, the the population, or to let us say, to slaughter the revolution. This is why until now they did not block the internet. So I'm expecting the internet to be blocked as soon as things start to be. Uh, uh, let us say, when when the government they will start doing a real action, then they will block the internet for now. They want to show you the crowd burning cars, uh, uh, burning uh, police stations, uh, to make them to show you that they are not peaceful. So this is a very smart plan from the Shia Islamic government of Iran. The next is to slaughter them. And this is what always you do. Uh, and you know if if the if the if the crowd is not willing to take arms against the government i believe the government they will send their own men between the crowd to shoot at uh, at the police because it's very important for them uh to make it as a violent uh, sponsored by abroad those people are not just peaceful people looking for jobs and food uh, this is not uh, uh, an innocent movement uh, this is something is sponsored by the devil so uh, I believe within maybe uh, two weeks from now if the crowd did not go to sleep and forget about going against the government the government is going to unleash its dogs on the crowd but they will not do that unless they arm some dirty men to join the crowd and shoot and kill some police officer they will they are, you know they, they will be sacrificing you see in the in the in the in the propaganda or the agenda of this kind of states it doesn't matter they can kill a hundred policemen just to make themselves stay in the office yeah they know the policemen at the end they are the poor one too policemen are no one you know they are the poor one too so it happened that their job they are the policemen so they can sacrifice them who care they can sacrifice a thousand policemen as long this is will make them live or control the government for the coming 50 years uh, sacrifice 500 uh, policemen and 1,000 soldiers who care you know so they don't care really for for uh, you know those who they are in office they are the one who are eating the country uh, uh, they have billions of dollars in their banks in Switzerland etc and people are starving no jobs no no uh, no money no food uh, everything is bad you know, there's no, no health insurance, nothing. Even electricity is not stable. So, this is why until now they are, you know, being patient, let us say, uh, with this uh, uh, revolution, and they are not, you know, cutting the internet. 
I believe that they are if you know I will not be surprised if the one is broadcasting this video live for us right now is somebody from the side of the government because they want to show you cars are burning they want to show you smoke they want to show you violence they want to show you that things is not really what you think those are not peaceful they want to show you that those are people are attacking the police and then when the police start taking action and slaughtering the crowd then they will cut off the internet so cutting off the internet is going to be uh, the bent when the government decide to use the extreme violence they always used to do as long as they did not decide it they want to show the world that we are democratic and we are you see here we go we did not cut the internet yet because they can cut the internet easy you know it's just a decision it's just a phone call and all the broadcasts you see will be stopped in a second so he, like here you know you ask yourself uh, how come this person or whoever he is 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 broadcasting life from Iran you know those who did not live in the Middle East you do not know what I'm talking about in there you know you cannot do that they will find you so easy you know all the 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 accounts which is leaked to YouTube coming from Iran it's known one by one by one they can trace you in a second so uh, how you can do such a thing unless the government is allowed in you uh, this is why I believe strongly that the plan is is what is going to come soon which is uh, you know we will make this uh, movement look like it's a demonic it's a decision from shaitan uh, it's behind it there is Israel uh, behind it there is uh, Trump uh, you know as usual you know like many people they ask themselves why why in Iran the first thing in the morning even for for a student who they are five years old I mean five years old what five years old have to do with America five years old stand before he enter his classroom and he have to say death to America and death to Israel it doesn't make sense he don't even know what is Israel he do not know what is America but the whole idea is we have to we have to keep you busy with an enemy and this enemy we will never fight you see the Iranian government speaking about the end of Israel the end of Israel the end of Israel but until now they did not dare to shoot one bullet at Israel as long they are preparing themselves to fight the devil and the devil is there I mean how come they don't want to fight the devil you see they fight they fight what they call him the devil by using others as an example Hezbollah in Lebanon Lebanese Muslim Shia they die and the Iranian they are watching TV you know so having having an enemy is very important and this enemy is a virtual enemy let us say it is not real you know they, they have to keep the crowd controlled uh, why we don't have electricity uh, like now if you ask the Assad before even the war why you don't have good electricity in your country he will say to you because we are fighting Israel and then you ask him when the last time you shot a, you, you shot a bullet at Israel <laughs> 30 years ago 40 years ago what do you mean because of Israel this is the case for everything happening in the Middle East they have to blame somebody else for their laundry so why we are not having jobs because you know the Israeli the Jews the Jews my friend the Jews don't you know what the Jews are doing what the Jews are doing what uh, what are you talking about you have your country you have your borders there's no Jews controlling anything there there's a few Jews in Iran they are minority and you know the poor people they cannot even there even the passport they cannot even fly uh, now somebody will say that you said poor they are rich there is there's rich Jews everywhere but they are not equal citizen to the Iranian citizen everybody you know the Christians and Jews in Iran they are not equal citizen uh, so they have to put in the front of them a target and that target is a virtual target is not real in order to keep the crowd not to question them about what's happening why we have no jobs why I have to sell my kidney so I can feel feed my kids why according to the government 30% is the unemployment rate I mean 30% 
trust me when they say 30% it's mean it's it's, it's mean maybe 90% is unemployed all the numbers come from Islamic countries is extremely false uh, you know Trump he do not need to invade Iran now because if if he did actually that will be their their the good for them that will save them from from uh, being collapsing you see the, the people they have to be smart when you when you invade a country even even the citizen there's no citizen in the world who love his country he will support an intruder so foreigners have to stay out don't be involved and don't do stupid things you know the second you put your head in you are saving them so that is not really smart uh, what what uh, what the whole world need to do is to put a pressure on Iran that we are watching you carefully and right away if they start killing people they put sanctions as before you see Obama he saved Iran I believe Obama is in bed with Iran big deal he is the one who saved Iran from collapsing from a few years ago you see Iran when they signed a deal with Obama it's not because they like to sign it but because they need the money they cannot take it no more and Obama saved them he is like the you know the savior for them so this filthy Obama he decided to save because he noticed that the, the the government of Iran is collapsing you see after more than 25 30 years of sanctions uh, their airplanes is not functioning their manufacturer is not functioning because they can't even buy parts to exchange their things they have the machines no, nothing is functioning in the country and then suddenly Obama he signed an agreement with them and the country flood with money even from America because you know the America they put in hold a lot of money belong to Iran so Obama this is why the Muslim Sunni many of them they think Obama is a Shia I don't agree as a Shia I believe he is a Muslim Brotherhood and the Muslim Brotherhood are the babies of the Shia Sunnis even though they are uh, uh, the, sorry the Shia even the Muslim Brotherhood they are Sunni but the Muslim Brotherhood are uh, uh, they grow and they, they you know everything they have is based on the Shia uh, of Iran you see the first center for the Muslim Brotherhood bought in Egypt was bought by the money of the mullahs of Iran specifically coming from Al Khomeini imagine the first center for the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt was bought in a rich area expensive area in Egypt so there is a strong relationship between the Muslim Brotherhood and the Iranian government even though those are Shia and those are Sunni so Obama he you know he have a duty in order to sponsor the Muslim Brotherhood he have to save Iran from collapsing because they are connected uh, this is why you see uh, Erdogan he is not really against Iran for he cannot be against his masters they are the one who really sponsored from the beginning the Muslims Brotherhood so now what will happen is uh, if if the uh, European government they are willing to help I don't but I don't think they were willing to help because especially France France signed hundreds of uh, uh, contracts with Iran so France need Iran <laughs> you know you believe it or not because they are making billions and trillions of dollars from them uh, 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 Italy uh, all European countries after the sanctions is lifted they were fighting like almost every few days there is a minister of uh, European country flying to Iran to sign a deal with the Iranian it's like you know suddenly we have an uh, a market is open for us to invest and everybody is coming from everywhere and this is what the Iranian did they sign agreement with everybody and the purpose was the future so it's going to be hard on America to retreat from any agreement they have with the Iranian in the future and this is exactly what happened to Trump when Trump he came now he want to put sanctions again in Iran but he cannot because France signed with them Germany signed with them Italy signed with them Spain was signed everybody is signing agreement with them so now in order to put sanctions and in Iran you have to put sanctions in the European countries so now what will happen if the Iranian government 
they did something stupid and it's possible and they start slaughtering the people then the European government they cannot use any excuse and hide by money deals sanctions on Iran again so this is a golden opportunity for Trump to use what's happening especially if things getting more aggressive and put sanctions and force all European unions to go back to sanction stage and that will make Iran corrupt collapse you know you know when I talk about Iran I'm not talking about the Iranian people you see I, I met many Iranian people they are really nice people you know and uh, actually number one church in America converted church number one converted church in USA is Iranian converted church you will not believe it I remember once I was driving my car and I saw a huge crowd in the park like tens of thousands and this was in California <clears throat> and I guess and I saw signs and like sound like Arabic from far away but when I get to close I can't understand this Arabic what is that it's written in Arabic letters so I noticed this is must be Pharisee so you know I parked my car and I wanted to see what's happening I said to myself man California is messed up if all of those Muslims all of these oh what happened so I went in the park and then I was walking through and people they are smiling at me like you know welcoming me etc very friendly people very nice people and then I noticed in the tables there's books and I grab one it was the Bible so all this crowd was not Muslim crowd it was ex Muslims who they are today Christians tens of thousands big huge festival so as I learned that the biggest converted church in USA is Iranian church Iranian are not bad people and you know we, we don't want to we don't want to uh, speak we speak against Islam but doesn't mean that somebody he is from that country he is a bad person Islam is the bad and most of those Iranian they don't believe in Islam they are forced to this is why you see girls in the videos they are taking off their hijab they don't care for Islam they don't they don't want to be Muslims for a second they are forced to wear the hijab you know the mullahs are forcing their propaganda and their agenda and the best way to control a country is to use religion you see when you use religion to control then anyone he speak against you you say he is an infidel burn him kill him as they used today it used to be for by false priests and false uh, uh, bishops you know in the old days anyone speak against him say something right right away they go against him even though the Bible never allowed him to do so but they can say oh you know what he is this guy is against God this guy he is etc so anyone speak anything in order to silence him we call him kafir and the second we can label him as a kafir it is the same second they can burn him alive So what I believe is going to happen now or in the soon future if they could not contain this movement they will spread the arms you know the government they will ask their own intelligent to walk between the crowd wear civilian clothes and carry guns and start shooting in the police and the second you start shooting the police then the police have the right to shoot back and that is the moment where the Iranian government is going to cut the internet after they get you some photo about uh, 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 you know those who they are people they call them peaceful protesters killing policemen because now they can get a proof that we are doing the right thing there's no country in the world will accept anyone to shoot at the policemen so we have the right to shoot back and I think this is what they are planning for otherwise doesn't make sense that until now the Iranian government did not uh, cut off the internet you know in such a country they cut off uh, uh, internet in a second they will not allowed any of this to go through unless they have a plan behind uh, behind this you know I saw I saw the videos are really uh, I mean things is really crazy there uh, I saw that they are burning the the the, the picture of uh, Ayatollah al-Khamenei and maybe some of you do not know what Ayatollah mean 
Ayatullah mean the miracle of Allah. So those mullahs, they put in the front of their names a title, which is the miracle of Allah. So he is the miracle of Allah. He's perfect. He's like God. You see, in Iran, they say to you, or if you speak to somebody from the from the uh, supporters of the uh, filthy government of Iran, he will say to you that in Iran we have election. The fact they don't have election because Ayatollah Khamenei, which is the second person after Al Khomeini, he is the one who will approve you to go for election. So there's no election. It is only the one approved by the mullahs can be a president anyway. So the real election is happening in the table of Ayatollah Al Khamenei. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, uh, me and you and him and him and him, we apply for a job and there's a guy, he check your resume. And then he say, this resume for garbage, this resume is not accepted, this person, we don't like him. And then he chose two resumes and he say, one of those is going, so who is the one who elect the president? It is this guy. You know what I mean? So from outside, it looked like they have election. But the truth is, there is no election because <laughs> you vote or you don't vote, one of them is going to win. And one of those two are chosen by the mullah, by the sheikh. So everything there is a fiction. And this is how they, they, they try to make themselves look democratic by fooling uh, uh, the, the public. Like, we have election. Yeah, right, we have election. Like in Syria, like in Iraq, you know. In Iraq, Saddam Hussein used to win the election by 99.9999999.9. And that one who did not vote, he did not vote because he hates Saddam Hussein. No, because he had an accident and he died in his way. There's no election. However, I believe this revolution is not about democracy as much it's about hunger. Because people in, in, the, in the Middle East, they use for, for, the, for dictators. It's normal, you know? Police can torture you, police can arrest you, you can disappear, you and your family, and nobody care for you. But when people are hungry, the story is different. It is the Billy revolution. And when the Billy is hungry, nobody can stop such a revolution. You see, people don't go in the street and risk themselves and risk their life for nothing. People are hungry. There's no jobs. You have you have a family, you have children, you want to feed them. So what do you want to do now? What is next? Okay, we waited for 10 years, 15 years, and now we can't take it no more. People are saying their kidneys. People, they are saying their children. People, they are uh, doing prostitution. So what is next? There's nothing left for sale. Right? So, uh, uh, I'm expecting that Iran is going to cut the internet, depend how bad things will get. And as I said, they are waiting for uh, the crowd to start doing more aggressive stuff by the help of the government. Which means, the government, they are going to put their own men, civilian men, between the crowd and start using arms against the police in order to make those uh, this revolution a demonic satanic revolution and they will say they will you know because they use arms against us we have the right to kill them all and this is what is going to happen and as long the european they are already in bed with iran because they are doing a business deals with them i think most of the european countries they are going to keep their mouth shut for money, talk. France is making a lot of money from Iran, a lot. Actually, number one Western country is involved in business in Iran is a France. The reason for that, because France is number one supporter for the terrorism of Iran. If you do not remember, that the one who host Al Khomeini for many years and give him protection and salary, it was the government of France. This is why the Iranian regime of the mullahs, they have a special, very special relationship with the French government. It's like a wife and husband. 
but without marriage. So the French, they will not go and have sanctions against Iran unless they are forced to. So we will see in the coming 10 days, 15 days maximum. The second you hear that the internet is cut off in Iran, and YouTube is not allowed no more, and Twitter is not allowed no more, that's mean things there is going crazy. And that's mean the Iranian government decided to slaughter anyone walk in the street against them. You know, in the year nine, uh, a few years ago, uh, when they have a revolution against uh, the, the mullahs, imagine the Iranian secret police, they rape men who they are arrested, not only women, which means they arrest you in the street, they take you to jail, and to humiliate you, they rape you. So you can imagine how aggressive and how filthy this government is. And then not only they rape you, they take pictures, but they will not show you that the, the face of the policeman is raping the person, and then they publish it to humiliate you more in front of your friends and people they know you. And then people who will think in the future to go against the government, they will say, oh no, do you, do you see what happened to our friend? They took him there and they raped him? It's not just jail. They are extremely filthy and they have no manner. And yet they speak too much about God. You see, nobody, nobody speak as, you know, as you see, the president himself is wearing the clothes of a mullah. He's a mullah, he's a sheikh. But they are the most disgusting criminals ever you can imagine. You know, I remember when they asked Ahmed Najat about uh, gays in Iran, he said, we don't have gays in Iran. <laughs> we don't have. <laughs> we kill them. <laughs> we have zero gays. We have zero atheists. We have zero. You know, we have zero crimes. You see, all those Islamic countries are amazing. There's, there is zero rape. There is zero gays. There is zero atheists. Everything is zero. The only thing is 100% is Islam. This is how hypocrite and liars they are. You know, you, you, if you live in the Middle East, you will hear a news about a car hit a car in the highway of Los Angeles. Okay. And then I remember there was a bus have like 50 kids die in the same day in that country which I was in in the Middle East. And we never heard about it in the news. I mean, you are giving me a news about a guy, he hit another guy car and nobody died in the highway of Los Angeles. And 50 kids die in your country in the same day. Nobody heard about the news. Oh, because our countries are perfect. We don't have a crimes there. We don't have accidents. We don't have a criminals. We don't have gays. We don't have lesbian. We don't have atheist. We are in heaven. Everything is fake. In Islamic countries, Everything is fake. The news is fake. The election is fake. The police is not a police. The police is a thief. The judge is not the judge. The judge is a thief. The, everything is upside down. But yet nobody speak a, you know, about God as much as they do. Anything they want to do, Bismillah, in the name of God, the most merciful, the most spicy. Allah, huh? right away they start adding the spices of Allah. But then, you know, you, you start looking at this guy who is a scumbag, who is a thief, who have billions of dollars in his banks, and yet he has given us a speech about feeding the poor. The same as Muhammad when he used to make a speech about how to feed the poor. But yet, he have 13 wives. You see the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad was a poor man. What are you talking about? Guys, Muhammad was poor man to the point he have 13 wives and 13 houses and every house she have many slaves to serve her <laughs> do you see how poor he is <laughs> if you have one wife you might go bankruptcy <laughs> just joking I don't want to be killed by a woman at the end of my life anyway so 13 wives tons of slaves servants 
women dancing for him at home and yet he's poor he is poor man i mean he is so dead poor everything is fake for this is the nations of fake to be praised god is fake the prophet is fake the judge is fake the police is fake the police is everything is fake but yet nobody speak about being truthful as they do this is why you see muslims they are desperate to go to the west because justice cannot be found in their countries you know somebody asked himself i mean how come this is the land of the infidels and here if we compare justice to the middle east we cannot compare we cannot but those are the infidels in this country in usa you can sue the president you can sue anyone you want it doesn't matter how important actually the second he is more important the more you are strong like how many women they made accusation against trump huh it can be false it can be true this is not the case but imagine you do that in iraq Ooh, wow, wow, wow. imagine you do that in saudi arabia <laughs> imagine you do that in islamic country you and your family would disappear in five seconds But yet they are the one who speak very much about God and about justice so I wanted to share this with you and as I said I'm expecting the internet or Twitter and YouTube at least will be cut off uh, uh, very soon depend in how fast the Iranian government they will start spreading violence I believe that the government itself will start spreading violence and purpose to make as I said to make this revolution a satanic revolution to give themselves legitimate reason to close the internet to slaughter people in the street and to bury this revolution and right away we do not need to look for somebody to blame we have the Jews Israel Trump the CIA you know but those people obviously they are not have nothing to do with CIA. actually you know obviously they are very poor uh, uh, to the point you know I, I look at the videos of people using their phones you will see how many of them their phones is very old and poor people you know you can't tell uh, hunger this is a revolution of hunger it's not about really freedom as much as about hunger because as I said people in the Middle East they used to have no freedom so nothing new but hunger is something nobody can uh, I mean conquer you cannot conquer a nation if you are a, the king of that nation you cannot keep them quiet when their belly is empty the same as the French Revolution it did not happen for political reason it happened for one reason it was how poor they are and how rich the Royals somebody own everything and someone who you have nothing so when you reach that point this is the point of no return and people don't think much about getting killed in the street because they are dying from anger anyway so let us see in the few coming days what is going to happen and with this i want to say thank you for joining me just i wanted to share the news with you about the iran and let us see if what i said or what i'm thinking is going to happen is going to happen we will see are they is the Iranian government going to spread some weapon in the in the street so they the, 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 they will make the crowd as if it is looking it's like look like it's kidding the police I believe they will do so I we will see soon more news about policemen getting killed soldiers getting killed police stations being burned uh, army army bases are stormed and that will give the government the legitimate reason at least in the front of the international community to use extreme violence they will put tanks in the street and they will shoot whoever ever walk down the road we will see thank you for listening and i hope 
uh, I hope and I wish that the people of Iran they will have their freedom from this extreme uh, 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 leech you know the leech who suck your blood this is what they have they have a leech it's called the Islamic government and it used the name of God it's a holy leech and this holy leech will not leave you alone either you make you die or they die so you better find out yourself thank you very much for listening may the Lord bless you all and happy new year and look like it's a good start I hope so for freeing a nation from the cult and the stupidity of Islam where everything is haram but in fact everything is lawful everything is good is haram music is haram to wear a clothes you like is haram to eat the food you like is haram but to sell your liver is okay to sell your child for sex is okay it's halal to do muta it is halal huh a man he is 70 years old he purchased a girl she is six years old for six it is halal everything wrong is lawful in this cult and everything is right is forbidden thank you for listening and watching Christ is Lord Islam is false and the end is coming sooner or later see ya